Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys another super easy recipe, and this one was actually inspired by some pretty amazing people. Now today's recipe is actually for homemade gummy candy, and what we're going to need are two bowls, two packages of Jello of your choice, as well as gelatin. You're going to need one packet for each box of Jello, and you're also going to need one third cup of water for each batch, as well as molds to put everything in. Now I wanted to make the classic gummy bear shape for my candy, but I did not have time to place an order online. So I just went to my local craft store and got soap as well as candy molds. The last item that we're gonna need is coconut oil spray. Now let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to combine your gelatin mixture as well as one packet of Jello. I chose grape for my first batch because purple is the color for epilepsy awareness and a friend of mine's daughter actually battles epilepsy every single day. Now what we're doing with this is adding that one third cup of cold water into our mix and stir 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 until it's all combined. Now my second mixture is the same exact thing. Combine your packet of Jello as well as your gelatin and then add in the third cup of water to that. And I chose blue because another friend of mine's child actually deals with autism every day and blue's the color for autism awareness. Now this batch was actually a little bit more difficult than the first. I had to mash up lumps with my whisk. If any of your mixtures take longer, don't worry at all. It shouldn't be smooth, it should just be evenly combined. After this, make sure that your batches are set to the side for about 10 minutes. So next up, I'm going to be using a coconut oil cooking spray. Any cooking spray will do, and I'm just going to be spraying this onto a paper towel and just wiping a thin coating onto each of my molds after I wash them off. And this is just going to make sure that there's no sticking to the molds. Okay, so now that all of our molds are all prepped and 10 minutes has passed, it's time to check on our batches. Now what you're going to see is a little bit of sugar on the top and that's no problem at all. So what you're going to do next is just place them into the microwave. Now they're going to go in for two 30 second intervals and all this is going to do is combine the gelatin mixtures with the water. After the 30 seconds is up, make sure to pull your mixture from the microwave and give it a really good stir. The first time I stirred a little bit more vigorously than the second time because I wanted to make sure that I got an even mix. The second time I just wanted to make sure that there were no bubbles. Oh and another thing, it's totally okay if you need to put yours in the microwave 15 to 20 seconds longer, just make sure it's completely clear. Now because I was filming and did not have time to put mine in the molds right away, it started to set up again and started to get a little bit more solid. But I would recommend as soon as you pull it from the microwave and see that it's clear, go ahead and put it in the mold of your choice just so you don't have this like extra gel buildup that I do. My purple batch actually came out a little bit smoother than the first. I was a little apprehensive about using my larger molds, but I definitely say go for it. I thought that maybe the candy might turn out rubbery, but it turned out the perfect gummy consistency and the flavor was awesome throughout. Now after you finish filling up all of your desired molds, just place them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and that's it, you're done. Next up, all we're gonna be doing is pulling our gummies from their molds and you are set. You can keep these in the refrigerator or you can keep them at room temperature. As long as they are in an airtight concealer, they should last you two to three weeks. I am so overjoyed with how good these turned out. I hope that you guys love this recipe as much as me and my family have. If you have any questions or if you have any video requests, make sure to let me know. Also, let me know if you guys try this out. I would love to see your recreations. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.